Hey everybody, it's Kyle. So uh, today I want to tell you about a lady that my wife works with. Uh, my wife mentors young women. And uh, one of the ladies my wife works with who doesn't have a child on the spectrum, how she absolutely went to bat for a girl that's on the spectrum that's uh, that's part of the group of girls they mentor. So, and it was it's just an awesome story. So anyway, my wife and I last night were talking about it and she she told me this story and she said that uh, that they mentor this group of between 12 and 18 year old girls and there's probably 20 or 30 of them and one of these little girls uh, I think she might be 12 or 13 is on the autism spectrum and she's part of the group they mentor and they were scheduling uh, and creating this little girls camp they were gonna go and camp as a group and really do a lot of fun things for a week and a couple of the mothers of some of the girls uh, kind of were getting together and decided that it would be better if this little girl who was on the spectrum didn't go because in their minds they the little girl on the spectrum might uh, she might ruin the experience for some of their daughters and Jennifer who was in charge my wife's name is Shelly but she's good friends with Jennifer Jennifer, who was in charge, heard of this, and she got them all together, and she said, that is not what we're going to do. We have not done our job unless every girl feels like they belong and is comfortable and welcome in this group. And then she uh, scheduled the time to go over and visit this girl's parents and ask them in detail what does your daughter need from us to feel comfortable at this camp with us for these four or five days? Tell us exactly what she needs. How can we make her experience as glorious as the rest of the, of the girls' experiences? And, you know, I, I, and they did. And she went. And obviously my wife was there too. So my wife was able to, because my wife has two sons on the spectrum, uh, has some insight into how to help and was able to really kind of wrap her arms around this this little girl and really help her through but it was just it was really a glorious thing to see someone who doesn't have a child on the spectrum basically go to bat and say there is no way we're excluding this little girl she's gonna she belongs to this organization and she's gonna be a part of it and we're gonna make sure she feels comfortable in spite of some of the other parents who thought that she would ruin their experience and you know uh, Jennifer what a great lady she is she didn't have to do that she could have easily capitulated to some of these uh, some of these ladies with you know typical daughters who were worried about the situation but she didn't she included her uh, she took the time to understand what she needed and made her experience just as wonderful as the rest of them so you know I, I want you to know that we don't hear enough about these great examples of people uh, really doing the right thing in the right situations but they're out there and I've seen it firsthand and I know a lot of you have too so feel free to share your stories like that there's a lot of people that are doing the right things and helping out and really including our kids so I just want to leave that with you have a great day and remember we're not the only ones that love these kids We might love them more, but there's a lot of people that are taking helping us take care of these kids, and it, and it really does take a lot of help to really do the right thing in some situations. So have a great day. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.